All right, guys. Here we go. We got the uh, the Russian side here. These are the Tupolev 22s. They're gonna fire off their KH-22 anti anti ship cruise missiles here. And you know we got our Sukhoi 33s and the Iranian F-14s here. A whole lot of cruise missiles up in the air here. I can't put labels on, but I feel like it just makes it a little too crowded. So I'm just gonna keep labels off. All right, so those cruise missiles are gonna come in. Uh, this is the Russian fleet, and off in the distance there, you got the American fleet right here, and all the Hornets up here. All right, so those missiles are gonna come in, those cruise missiles. Now remember, the objective here is to saturate the defenses of the carrier fleet and hope that a couple of these missiles can get through and destroy them. All right, so these are all the fuel tanks here. The Hornets are dropping all those. These are the ones that were just launched off the carrier fleet here. Uh, the carrier uh, fleet is going to try to defend itself now. It's going to fire off some missiles here, trying to intercept these cruise missiles as they come in. You can see all those hornets in the sky there. There it is. They're going to start getting concentrated, which means that the uh, splash damage could actually take out multiple missiles at once. We got a couple of hits here. Multiple hits, and the carrier is gone. Actually, it went out pretty quick there. That was interesting. I didn't think it would be that quick. Uh, now, in the uh, in tag view, it says that the carrier is gone. Right? It's just it's probably combat ineffective. But I didn't actually see it sink the video. So I'm not sure if you want to count that as a as a kill or not. But it seems like tag view seems to think it's dead. So that's how we'll play that. Um, let's come over here. This is the massive dogfight. Now these are the Hornets, they're going to try to take out these Sukhoi 33 and the MiG escorts and they're going to try to make their way to the Tupolev 22s in order to decimate the Russian strike package. All right, if they can take these out then they won't be able to launch another attack like this in the future when more carriers come into this, into the Persian Gulf here. Right, so it looks like the Hornets are actually winning this engagement here against the Sukhois and the MiGs. The F-14s don't seem to have engaged yet. They're still off in the distance there. We got the Russian fleet firing off its uh, anti-air missiles here. I think that's actually what's causing the major casualties to the Hornets here. There's just too much for them to keep track of. You know, missiles incoming from the ground, from other planes. And it looks like they've finally pushed past the uh, the Sukhoi escorts and they're going to be hitting those Tupolev 22s now. You can see they're kind of eating into it, into the package. This, this part right here. You can see some Tupolev 22s here getting engaged, dropping some chaff, trying to survive multiple Tupolev 22s getting hit. You can still see multiple Hornets getting hit from the uh, anti-air defenses of the ships down here. The entire middle of the Tupolev 22 strike package is completely decimated. They've got some guys off in the distance here and some more on the other flank but the entire middle is just gone. A lot of those hornets are dead too. You can see a few hornets off in the distance here engaging some of those Tupolev 22s. That's one kill right there. Aim 120. There's an AIM-9 there, looks like it's from the F-14s here. So it looks like there's just some sporadic dogfighting here between the F-14s and the Hornets. A couple of those F-14s are pushing out to Dubai for reasons unknown. 
basically all the hornets in this area have been killed. And off in the distance there we got those F-14s that are now being engaged by the American uh, fleet here. Now the ships don't seem to be firing on each other, they probably ran out of ammo. They do do that after a while, once they run out of missiles they just stop firing. Now uh, like I said, the primary objective of this scenario here was to take out the carrier. And if, you, if they managed to take out the carrier they were supposed to take out the rest of the fleet. Now they did not manage to take out the entire fleet but the carrier looks like it was knocked uh, basically out of combat uh, but at what price though right like you look at the uh, look at those damages look at those uh, casualty numbers right like the entire Russian strike package was destroyed you can see just a handful of Tuvalov 22s heading back to base right that's all that made it out of like hundreds of planes and the entire F-18 uh, defense force for the fleet was destroyed as well. It looks like the only thing surviving is some uh, F-14s here, Iranian F-14s. Those things will not die, man. <laughs> Just cannot kill them. It's like 40 years in service and they're still flying, even after this. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. What do you think? Did they meet the objective? Did they not? I personally think that this was I think you could pitch it both ways right because the carrier was destroyed so technically the objective was met so the Russian Iranian side wins but when you look at the numbers it's like you had to decimate your entire air force to do it so it's like you can kind of pitch it that the Americans win this as well so let me know what you guys think in the comment section thanks for watching I'll see you next time